Hi, I'm Charles with Atlas Business Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to get your employees into Visual Staff Scheduler Pro and Premiere. There are three ways you can get your employees into VSS Pro. You can enter them manually, you can import from a text file, and you can import from QuickBooks. In this video we're going to cover just manual entry and importing from a text file. So to get started, I've got my new schedule open and you can click define and new employee and enter your name here or you can just click on an empty row in the name column and it will open up the employee profile dialog box. And as you can see, each employee would have a name, an employee number, and then there are four tabs for holding other information. Uh, on the general tab we've got the hire date and the number of desired hours per week, a place for email address and contact information. And this contact information is just a freeform text box that can hold really anything that you want. On the positions and skills tab you can enter a position and one or more skills or skill sets for your employees. On the comments, there's a freeform text field that will hold any text pertaining to that employee. And on the photo tab, we have the ability to add the employee photo. So when you're entering your employees manually, the only required field is name. Everything else is optional, although it's pretty common to have a name and a position and one or more skills, really. If I'm entering multiple employees, I don't ever have to leave this dialog box. I can just type in a name and click Next, and clicking Next moves you to the next available employee row. And if I want to enter an employee that has a position, so I'll make Larry, and I'll make Larry an LPN. And I'll make Kim, and Kim will also be an LPN. But since I just typed that in for Larry, it's available now as a position for any other employees that I need to enter. So I can continue to enter my employees manually, or I can import from a text file. And that text file could be something that I've exported from another system, such as an NHR system or a payroll system. And in this case, I've actually just typed everything into an Excel document and then saved it as a CSV file. And VSS Pro will recognize the fields in that CSV file and let me map the fields in my file to the fields in VSS Pro. So I'm going to click the Import button and choose a new import file. And as you can see, in my file I have fields for name, email address, phone numbers, and VSS Pro is asking me for each of these fields, where do I want it to go in VSS Pro? And f I have a first name field and a last name field that I'm just going to skip. So I'm going to leave it undefined and I will choose to bring in the full name instead. And then for the rest of them I can map these fields to their VSS Pro counterparts. And then the first row in my document has the name of each field. And so VSS Pro can recognize that that's a header row and just skip it when you import. So I'm going to tell it that the first row is a header row and it will not import it. And when I click finished, it will show me a list of all of the employees in my file. And from there, I just choose the employee I want to import click the import button and it brings all of that information into a new employee profile. And you can see we've got Amy's name, her employee number, her hire date, email address, contact information, and position. And if I want to import another I just click next to go to the next empty employee record. I click import I don't have to select my file again because I've already told VSS Pro where the file is, what the file contains, and how I want the file to map into VSS Pro. So I just click the next employee I want to import, click the import button, and we see we get Becky's information in. 
and I can just continue on through the rest of my employees if I want to. So I've imported a handful of employees and I'm going to take a look at a schedule where I've kind of filled out the employees a little more but I need to rearrange them and to do that I can go to view and sort and I'm going to put them in order by their position so I get all my EMTs together all my LPNs together all my RNs together and I can also sort by name and also by seniority hours scheduled and desired hours and I'm going to leave mine by position and just to break up the schedule visually so I can tell my groups apart I can add divider rows and I'm just going to make a divider row for each position and to add a divider row you just click in the row where you want the divider to start and click edit insert and divider and each row can have a background color and a caption in this case I'm just using my position names and that's really the first step in building out your schedule we've got the employees in We've put them in an order where we can find people very easily. And we've got our groups organized so that we can find the groups without having to search through the whole schedule. So I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, you can send us an email at support at abs-usa.com or call our support team at 1-800-874-8801. If you have an evaluation copy of VSS or if you're using an older version, you can learn more uh, or order on our website at www.abs-usa.com or give our sales team a call at 1-800-874-8801. Thank you very much.